So we've been working all day here at this beautiful ranch with a uh, model workshop working on wedding photography. What I want to do is take a little time and show you a dramatic shot that is just one of my favorite. This is a shot that will get you jobs over and over again. This is the type of shot that your brides and grooms will buy 100% of the time. This is a shot that only requires one speed light and just a little bit of practice. So let's take a minute in this gorgeous barn and let's put it together and show you how you can create this on your own. Now the beauty of this shot is it only requires one speed light. I'm turning the speed light on. I'm going to keep it at half power. I don't need a lot of power. I'm just rimming out my subject at this point. I'm going to set the flash up at about four feet high, about waist high is what you're looking for. Now here's where things really start coming together. We've got our speed light on. We've got it set about waist high. We've got it aimed right about at the shoulder blade of our model. Now, if we were to bring the light five feet from our model, what's going to happen is we're not going to get any wrap of light. We're just going to light up the back of her and we're not going to see it from the front. The magic comes in when you set that speed light about 12 to 15 feet back from the model. So now we've got our light set at the proper distance. We've got it set at half power. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to line our beautiful model Gabrielle up here and I'm going to just fire it off. I haven't yet put my trigger on. I'm not worried about placing it on the tripod, worrying about a blurry shot. I'm just looking at my exposure of the ambient light. The magic number here, just like the 12 to 15 foot, is 5.6, anywhere from ISO 400 to 800, but 5.6, and then dial your shutter speed until you get the right mood that you want for your environment. So I fired off my first shot, still seemed a little bit dark, that was at a 20th of a second. I'm going to try it at a 15th of a second and see what I end up with. I'm really liking, I'm pulling a lot of the light in from the bar and I'm seeing a lot of the uh, wood in the background. So I like that exposure. I'm going to place the trigger on the camera. Give it a test, make sure it's firing. I'm going to lock my camera in place here. Now we're ready to create that magic. Fantastic, we nailed the shot. It's just that easy. And remember, this is a shot anybody can do. 5.6 on the camera, use your shutter speed to correct your lighting. Speed light, one speed light, 12 to 15 feet behind your bride, about waist high, pointing at their back, and you will create a picture that you will sell to your bride and groom 100% of the time. Mm -hmm.